Guys, they said Igbi and the Lydebad must scatter or judge them all. As Igbi exposed what uh, Lydebad must is currently doing in the palace right now. In order to make the list of KBS's new wives. My people, one that shall never end though. See these women, they know what they are doing. They know what they are doing. And... <laughs> Igbi is able to know what Lyde is doing right now in the palace just because she did the same thing before she was able to enter that palace. You see this life, eh? no balance at all. According to what we are hearing, you know, they said, Kabi Esi will be welcoming new wives soon. Uh, she have made it uh, open on the day of uh, Olaja festival. That day that he was bragging about the women he married, women that have something upstairs and all of that. <laughs> that was the day he made it clear to them that he will be welcoming new wives. So a lot of people are saying that the number of the women that is in his pipeline is too many, too many, ranging from this Lady Badmos, Lola, Abike Jagaban, the U.S. nurse, even Princess Adewamiwa's mother, and so many others, including the so-called virgin that we are hearing about. My people wonder, shall never end there. <laughs> so, with all of this struggle, you know that there will be no dull moment. No dull moment. And I believe that Igbi is very smart, though, even though her smartness is not a good one. It's not a, 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 a positive one. Mm-hmm. Because I believe that it is because she is over smart that made her uh, push Lide aside and got married to Kabiesi. Because we all know that Kabiesi and Lide have been business partner for a very long time. And their kind of business partner is not only business. They also do business from in bed, you know, from what we are hearing allegedly. As a matter of fact, that friendship, Lide was looking forward for Kabiesi to kind of include her. Uh, that period he was doing marriage bonanza. But if me, whom Lide introduced to KBS, they said it was like it was Lide Badmos who introduced me to KBS as her friend. As a matter of fact, this oil business that Igbi is doing today, bragging, making so much money from the oil business, they said it was Lide. It was Lide who brought her into the oil business because they happens to be schoolmates then, you know. So Lide gave her the whole connection, including the oil business and uh, that of uh, uh, connection to meet Kabiesi. But she decided to pay Lide with uh, betrayal. She betrayed Lide and got married to Kabiesi. Remember, they said when the information got to Lide that uh, Igbi and, and Kabiesi is having something, they said Lide confronted her and asked her, and she denied it. She denied it, telling Lide not to listen to gossip or don't listen to bloggers. So at the end of the day, those gossips and bloggers who said Kabiesi wants to marry uh, Igbi, the thing came to pass. And then Lide was so disappointed. Both uh, at Kabiesi and uh, uh, Igbi, whom she she was thinking that she is her best friend. Then they said Kabiesi wanted to make it up to Lide. Kabiesi proposed to Lide, but out of anger, they said Kabi, uh, Lide rejected Kabiesi. Then at some point, Igbi started making it look like uh, she is very smart. She is the one that deserves to be the queen, but Lide does not deserve to be the queen. That was when they said, Lide told Kabiesi, I see that marriage proposal, I am in. <laughs> then, at some point, it looks as if Paropo intervened and uh, stopped Kabiesi from marrying more women because that period, Kabiesi would have married Lide Badmus, Lola, Abike Jagabana, so many of them, but they said uh, Paropo stopped him then because they were working towards bringing Queen Naomi back. And they know that the more, if Kabiesi marry more wife, it is going to jeopardize their chances of bringing Queen Naomi back to the palace. But now that Kabiesi have made up his mind that that marriage must happen, they said, Lide came to the palace a few days ago with her luggages. And Igbi was like, what are you doing here? And all of that. They said Lide told her that uh, this palace belongs to 
Kabiesi, not you. And as long as Kabiesi knows that I am coming and he did not stop me, you, you cannot stop me. After all, I am the first person that brings you into this palace. But today, you think you are in charge such that you want to send me out. That you cannot do it though. When they fight and fight and fight and Igbi saw that uh, this lady came prepared though, Igbi gave up and lied they pack into her uh, chambers because we have that. She have her chalet right there in the palace, my people. Now, Lide, Kabiesi have not married Lide, but Lide is already parading herself as a uh, Olori because she now went to, they said they, came, they both of them came to Ojajamo. Maybe Lide was there before Igbi or Igbi was there before Lide, but they said the two of them met at Ojajamo where Lide was doing her shopping in peace. Maybe she was practicing as a, you know... <laughs> So while she was there, or the same me came and told her that look, leave my husband alone. No husband snatcher. Husband snatcher, leave my husband alone. No, that was what they say Igbi was doing in the Ojajamo. You know that they like to create scene. They say if you want to see two, if you want to see fight, Olori fights, eh? If you want to see these Oloris fighting themselves, go to Ojajamo. That is where they normally display their madness. Because right there in the palace, they have their different quarters. But in Ojaja Mo, they always meet themselves there. If they have any scores to settle, most times they go there to settle their scores. That was how they say Igbi was shouting at her Lola, leave my husband alone. Husband snatcher, husband snatcher. They said like that was just laughing. Asking her, who is the husband snatcher? You snatch Kenomi's husband, you think she will not come back. That she will come back. That you see that husband very soon, you go look for the husband, you know, go see him. Because by the time I will take over, from month to month, you will not even know where he is. They said that was what Lide told uh, Igbi. And Igbi told Lide that, look, you think I don't know what you are doing. I think I don't know about all the rituals that you are doing in the palace so that it will work for you. But let me tell you, it is going to fail. Because from today, I will expose you. I will tell everyone I will do it. Yeah? And they said, Lide told her that if you did it and it will work for you, my own, I'm going to do my own and it to work for me too. That don't think that I don't know how you enter here. If you ever talk about the ritual again, I am going to open my mouth. And by the time I do, ah, they will, they will pursue you, come up for palace. Yeah, my people. You see, I wasn't surprised though, because we have heard these stories over and over again that uh, before Igbi entered, they told her that she no fit, but they she said she fit. And she started doing all they asked her to do, which in also include burying a bottle where they put Kabiesi's picture and all of that. So, See these women, if all the information we are hearing about them, now we say KBS you is good though. They say KBS is laughing though. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is what we are hearing. They say the two of them, they scatter uh, Ojaja more, they open their nyashish. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget that these are all alleged information. Always bear that in mind. Please subscribe to my channel, follow my page, share my video. I love you guys. Bye. See you.